There's a new glitch for the U.S. space industry. The launch of a SpaceX rocket overnight has been postponed for at least 24 hours. The Polaris Dawn mission will carry out the first spacewalk by a private company. The four astronauts will also go farther into space than any crew in decades. Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center with more on why the launch was scrubbed. Mark, what can you tell us? Hey, Michelle, good morning. The problem behind the delay wasn't with a rocket or with a capsule. SpaceX says the problem was on the ground, a leak in the umbilical that feeds helium to the rocket. But let's talk for a second about the mission highlight, which is the first ever commercial spacewalk expected to happen on the third day of the five-day mission. Roughly 435 miles above Earth, their Dragon capsule will vent down to the vacuum of space. And two of the astronauts, Commander Jared Isaacman and a billionaire entrepreneur, and mission specialist Sarah Gillis, as SpaceX employee will alternate floating through the open hatch for roughly 15 minutes apiece. They'll be wearing SpaceX design suits with 12-foot-long cables and safety tethers to stay connected to the spacecraft. The goal, test the spacesuits that SpaceX has redesigned to withstand the thermal extremes in the vacuum of space. SpaceX will also live stream the big moment. Also of note... The civilian crew will reach an altitude of 870 miles above Earth on the first day of the mission. That's more than 600 miles farther out than the International Space Station flies and farther than any astronaut has flown since the Apollo moon missions more than, 60, uh, more than 50 years ago. The two women in the crew will also set a record. It's the highest point above Earth that any woman has ever traveled. So lots of interesting stuff for this mission, Tony. Mark, one additional fact, the term scrubbed goes back to the Royal Navy when orders were written on a slate and then wiped off if they were canceled. NASA picked it up after World War II. Uh, SpaceX as well. Thank you very much.